I guess there's a whole lot of cheating going on. A Notre Dame, a Notre Dame. I don't know. I just don't know. It's the WC World Championship breaking news. Apparently, uh, you have to say apparently. Apparently, there's players in Notre Dame cheating. Cheating so they can play. Academic fraud. The article, you know, was basically this story is being broken by Yahoo Sports. The article reads as such. Notre Dame administrative officials are investigating instances of potential academic fraud on campus that could include several members of the fighting Irish football team. Sources have told Yahoo Sports. Sources said four members of the football team were interviewed by school officials Friday, including receiver Denarius Daniels. I think I said the man's name right. Defensive back. Oh my God, I can't even say this man's name. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm just going to say it like this. There's four players on on the football team, and I'll link the article down low so you can read it yourself. All right. All right. Because these guys got some weird. I, I Shaq Williams. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't mean to make. I don't mean to go in on their names, but come on, man. All right, Kendall Moore, Kendall linebacker, Kendall Moore. I can say his name, but I mean, come on, folks. I mean, just cheating. It, it, it's just why. It's like one of those things where I'm not going to sit up here and say that there are universities that welcome academic cheating so they can win a national championship. I'm not going to say that because that would be unfair for me to say. But in many instances, man, you know, being a college student myself and being at some of these universities, you could tell that some of these players don't even show up to class and probably get A's. They probably don't even show up to class and they get, you know, passing grades. And I'm not saying that that's in every single instance. But you're not going to sit here and tell me that all these guys, man, all 53 of these guys is 3.0 and above. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's some guys that have been academically challenged. And college is not meant for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Playing football is not meant for everybody. So I know I know that football is one of those things in which people will basically put themselves to the side, put themselves on the line to make sure that some of these players get through. Now, I don't know if it's, you know, uh, you know, the staff's influence. I don't know if the coaches have been influenced on this, but this is basically has, you know, put a little bit of a dark cloud over the Golden Domers, man. They're, they're basically saying that this is a potential on the code violation, which could basically, you know, lead to these players being uneligible for the next season. Now, the Fighting Irish, you know, they lost in the national championship game in 2012, as the article basically clearly states. And, you know, Everett Ghostin basically missed a good part of the season, if not all of last year, because of the auto code for his academic issues. So, you know, all this stuff would be down in the article. Notre Dame is some more hot water. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on with the cheating. You folks, just, I mean, Notre Dame's just got to stop cheating, man. Stop cheating on your tests. Show the hell up to class. To pass the quiz. All right. And play football. I mean, how hard, did, how hard can that be? I mean, but then again, coming from the perspective of somebody that's been a college student, I know how hard it is. But come on, man. Stop paying your teachers. I mean, y'all ain't got no money. I mean, I, I mean, y'all can't bribe them. You, you know, y'all, most of these guys are college students. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're their own scholarships. Y'all ain't got no money. So how y'all going to bribe them? They're going to bribe Oh, we going to give you a ring? We going to give you a ring if you give us a national championship? I mean, look, like I said, college students have enough of a hard time you know, with basically eating tuna, tuna, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and tuna fish sandwiches every night. And then, you know, I got to worry about, you know, studying 55 pages and stuff for a test the next day. I, I, I understand that perspective. But at the end of the day, cheating is cheating. Do your work, fellas. I look, I, I'm expecting for all four of these players and maybe maybe a fifth one to get suspended for the entire year, you know, for violating the honor code. Let me know how you guys feel down below. It's the WC World Championship breaking news. Stop cheating. I mean, the only person that you're cheating is yourself. That's all I'm going to say at the end of the day. Stop cheating. And until next time, folks. Peace out.